Welcome back to Our Chicago. I'm Tanya Babich, and my guests this morning are Kevin Radlett, the executive director of the Leukemia Research Foundation, and Dr. Patrick Stiff, chairman of the Leukemia Research Foundation's Medical Advisory Board and the co-director of Loyola Medical Center's Oncology Research Institute and division director of hematology and oncology. We're talking about leukemia research and the upcoming ABC7 Gibbons Walk and Run. I want to get into the medical weeds a little bit here, Dr. Stiff. I want to talk about something called CAR T cell therapy. Uh, it's one example of a game-changing breakthrough, and there is something unique about Loyola Medical Center specifically and, and what you offer as far as this treatment is concerned here. What is that? Yes, we uh, have developed our own in-house, if you will, CAR-T program. The McCormick uh, Foundation funded a clean room, which is a, a, a room that is FDA compliant to make cells. So we actually make uh, patient-specific cells, they're called CAR-T cells, which are capable of uh, hunting down and killing cancers. These are genetically transformed cells that uh, uh, target uh, leukemia and lymphoma cells and have brought about uh, striking remissions in patients that have otherwise uh, failed to go into remissions. What's unique about this program are several things. Number one, uh, uh, it's the, it was the first program in Chicago that, uh, if you will, uh, a, a unique homegrown type of program. Uh, number two, it was uh, funded partially by the Leukemia Research Foundation, and we plan to, once we have this uh, well in hand, uh, to uh, allow other institutions in the Chicago area to participate. And number three, it's a unique car in that uh, it seems to be so far associated with a lack of significant clinical toxicity, which is a, a hallmark of these cells. So it's, it's effective therapy, but uh, in general causes a lot of side effects, low blood pressure, patients can, uh, can have some neurologic side effects. And so far on the patients that we've treated here, we've seen none of that. We think that's largely due to the fact that the car that we have made is is a very purified product, unlike the uh, ones that, that are commercially available through different pharmaceutical companies and other institutions. So it's effective, and uh, we think that we're going to cure potentially in the range of 40% of patients that have otherwise incurable diseases. And with, with these successes in lymphomas and certain leukemias, we now expect this to be broadened out to other forms of cancers, including multiple myeloma and other forms of uh, leukemia, the more common ones, the acute myeloid leukemia. Dr. Stiff, very briefly, as we encourage our viewers to, to take part in, our, in the fundraising efforts here, do you think that we, we could be on the cusp of further innovation, further treatments that really may make a difference in the treatment and potentially curing of blood cancers? Yes, we are. We, this is a this is a fantastic, this is a renaissance, if you will, of new treatments for leukemia. And it's largely because now we know what genetic defects, defects are causing these cancers and have now specific targeted therapies. We talked about cell therapy, that stimulates the immune system, but we also have a series of drugs that actually get inside the cells that are specifically abnormal and very tight areas and can actually target these very small, minute changes in DNA and RNA and kill the cells. Uh, we're combining those with chemotherapy and we're seeing spectacular results, um, results that we would not have even expected five years ago. So that's why funding is critical at this point in time. And Kevin, you also fund other initiatives as well. What other assistance do you provide to patients and their families? Well, yes, I mean, research is our middle name and of course that's our main pursuit, but we also have a patient uh, a need base patient financial assistance program that's available within a 100 mile radius of Chicago and or the state of Illinois. And again, that's need based because again, our board has walked in the shoes of patients who are newly diagnosed and understand the need for financial assistance. So last year or this year, actually, we were able to distribute about $150,000 to patients in need. And then thirdly, we have educational programs that we offer on a complimentary basis to patients, caregivers, town hall, treatment options conference, uh, as well as occasional webinars on nutrition, managing side effects, and other important information. Kevin, very quickly, how much are you hoping to raise? Well, uh, each year we raise about $100,000, and I think that we're gonna do that again this year. In the 26 year history of the event, we've raised just under 2 million, thanks in large part to ABC7. So we're very optimistic that we're gonna have a great week and we urge everybody to come out and join us. And we are too, and you can still register to take part. Gentlemen, thank you so much. That does it for our Chicago. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And now let's go back to the news desk.
Thank you very much. The ABC 7 Gibbons 5K run and 3K walk are being done virtually this year. Runners and walkers can take part anytime between Thursday, June 17th and Sunday, June 20th. You'll find details online right at our website and at allbloodcancers.org. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.